Mark Rogers TV back with you as we continue our look at spring camps across the nation. We head all the way west to the coast and Stanford with Don King from Last Word on College Football. Don, how are you doing tonight? I'm fantastic, Mark. How are you? It's good to hear. I will put myself in the same category. It's a good place to be. It is a good place to be. And uh, it's been a while, so it's good talking to you. Always. So oh, I, I anticipate that and know that it's already going to be a good conversation. Uh, Stanford looks to have another solid team, if not spectacular, and leading um, the North Division in 2017. But they got to settle this deal at quarterback, and we'll see what we have uh, at the spring game this weekend. Indeed, we will. Looking forward to seeing uh, what Costello looks like. Uh, Burns will be back. Uh, Shaw and company believe that Keller Chris will be ready at the start of fall camp, uh, barring any setbacks, which is encouraging for the Cardinal faithful. So we'll see how that goes. But looking forward to seeing what uh, what Costello in particular is capable of doing. So if there are two or three items that you followed throughout the spring sessions and then culminating with the spring game this weekend that you would like to see some uh, fruit from the labors uh, during the spring game, and it's difficult to tell, you've got guys lining up against each other. So somebody's got to look bad every play, yep. but, but some things that you would like to see. I mean, other than QB, the other, the other source spot or potential source spot is defensive line, um, particularly with one of the most productive defensive linemen in, in, in program history, moving on to be a top five pick, it looks like, uh, in this year's draft. So Harrison Phillips will anchor things, um, you know, a couple other guys back, Dylan Jackson, um, but there, there are some youngsters who didn't get a chance to play last year and at least a couple of true freshmen who might compete for some time uh, this fall. So obviously we won't see them in the spring game tomorrow, but by fall camp, there are a couple of guys who might contribute, uh, you know, brand new onto the farm. Uh, other than that, it's always interesting to check running back. Um, you know, Bryce Love has a stranglehold on the starting gig this year, um, replacing McCaffrey. He is not going to play tomorrow, so there are a number of other youngsters who will rotate through and get some carries, and let's we'll see what they look like and, and what they can do. Um, you know, pretty much all vying to be the, the primary backup to number 20. 